We the Lions of Zion. We are here teaching our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the true children of Israel. The Most High God has chosen us to be a special people unto himself. Let me get um, Exodus 20 and 2. Because we we are, like the uh, former soldiers were saying, we are stiff-necked people, and we don't listen. So give, uh, give me what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So when the children of Israel was in Egypt, we were in bondage. My brother, what's another word for uh, bondage? Slavery. So read this again. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So out of slavery, because the children of Israel was in slavery in Egypt. So the Most High God brought, brought us out of there. And every time, you know, when we listen, he take us out. He, you know, give us what we need. But then we be hard-headed again, and he put us back into slavery. So give me um, Baruch 1 and 19. Because ever since that day, he brought us out of Egypt. Something has been going on. And we're going to read to you what that, what's, what's that issue that's been going on with our people since he did what we just read, brought us out of the land of, uh, uh, out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Read what you got. The book of Baruch, chapter 1, verse 19. Since the day that the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt. Out of slavery. Until this present day. Until 2020. The children of Israel, this is who this book talking about. We have been disobedient. We have been what? Disobedient. We have been what? Disobedient. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have been what? Disobedient unto the Lord our God. Our God. It ain't say we've been disobedient to the God. He's very specific when he talked to his people. Read that again. We have been disobedient unto the Lord our God, and we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. So when the Most High God is talking to our people, we we just, we too busy. We ain't never got no time to listen to what God uh, has to say for us, and we we don't really hearken into to the, what the Most High God has planned for us. We want to do our own thing. We want to live our own life. We say... Oh, it's, we only live once, so I'm going to, you know, do as much wickedness as possible. But you don't know that your grace period can run out at any given time. Uh, keep going on. Wherefore, the evils, the evils cleaved unto us and the curse. All the curses and the evils that we read in Deuteronomy, all those curses only pertain to the children of Israel. That's right. Which the Lord appointed by Moses. His servant at the time. So, again, when we read the book of Deuteronomy, Moses is telling us, if you, if we don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God to do all the commandments, then we're going to be cursed. And as you can see in 2020 today, that we are still a cursed people. Give me uh, Baruch. Hold, hold this, but give me uh, 3 and 8. Because a lot of people, they they try to have a disconnect with being in slavery or, you know, uh, being in bondage and, you know, I ain't, I'm free and, you know, we ain't, you know, in captivity today. But that's contrary to what the Bible says. Read what you got. The book of Baruch. Bring it down. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So today... 2020, the children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are what? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So if you think that you're free, that's not what the Bible says. Today in 2020, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are yet this day in our captivity. Keep going. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. So again, just like the curses in Deuteronomy. We fit all these curses. When you go to the slums and the ghettos, you only see the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When when you go to all these uh, Fortune 500 businesses, you don't see no uh, 
uh, blacks, Hispanic, or Native Americans be the uh, CEOs or, you know, anybody that has any type of pull. You might see a supervisor here and there, but that ain't that ain't really having no pull because they can fire you just as fast as they fire any one of their employees. That's so right. you being a supervisor, that's not you really having no status. You want to have status being a CEO. You want to be the owner of this business. You don't you don't want to be the one that has to worry about if you're going to get uh, fired one day or, you know, something like the coronavirus happening and they laying off, uh, you know, 100, 200 some people and you're going to end up being one of them. How you doing? What's your name? Chris. How you doing? I'm Proctor. Yeah, we the Lions of Zion. We out here teaching our people. We the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the two children of Israel. So we going according to the Bible. So give me uh, Deuteronomy one and one. Cause again, you believe slavery happened. So do you know who it happened to? Huh? Yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah, our people. You said it happened to our people. Yeah. So we gonna get. We gonna read to you who those people are according to the Bible. The Book of Deuteronomy, chapter one, verse one. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. So this, when we read these one of these curses. This is the curses that fit all Israel. And we're just going to see if you fit this curse right here. Give me uh, 68. Because, again, from from back then until now, it's no end of the people. We're going to read you that out the Bible. So the same people that was back then that went into slavery, they, they uh, gen the generations that's after them, they are still on this earth today. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So you know what uh, we was doing in Egypt back then? You know what the children of Israel was doing in Egypt? We going to give it to you. Give me Exodus. Because the, the Israelites, they was doing something in Egypt. And we going to read to you what they was doing in the Bible. The book of Exodus. Chapter 20, verse 2. Bring it on. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So you know another name for bondage? Slavery. That's correct. So I'll read that again. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the Most High God brought the children of Israel out of slavery. Because that's what they was doing in Egypt. So when we go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, now we can start putting some broader understanding on what this is talking about. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Most High God is going to put us back into slavery again. But it's a different way how he going to do it this time. With ships. With what? With ships. So again. Sister, um, check out this, uh, check out this, uh, picture right here. So, read that again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with six. So, as you see on this, on this poster right here, the most high God put us back into slavery with ships. And as you can see, who were the only people that were on cargo slave ships? The Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. That's right. But also, again, give me uh, 16. Because all these curses, from the first one to the last one, is uh, pertaining to a certain group of people. And they only fit those people. Nobody else. Give me uh, give me that. what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So it says, curse shall you be in the city. When you go to the slums and the ghettos and, you know, the poverty-stricken areas, who do you see in those areas? Huh? I can't hear you. 
the blacks, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's a curse from God. So with you knowing that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the people of this Bible, then that that would be who you are according to the Bible. That would be your nationality. You would be an uh, 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 Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Is your father uh, African-American, so-called? You don't know? Yo, yo, your father wouldn't be considered an African American in America? You don't know your father? Huh? I, I can't. Yo, oh, oh, okay. Well, nine times out of ten, you would be from one of these tribes. And if your dad was just a regular African American man, you never asked your mom about your dad or anything? So you will be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. And that is the tribe that Christ came from. So you got royalty in your blood. And, you know, we have to start uh, acting like that. Because the most high God, he is fed up with his children. Because we want to do our own thing. And like we read, when since the day that he brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt, we've been, we've been disobedient. Go back to uh, Baruch 1. Well, um, I think we was at 20. Go to the 21. Because our people need to understand that following the ways of man, following religion, and going to church and doing those things, that's not going to get you salvation. Because the church lied to you. You go to church on Sunday, but the church don't tell you that's not the Lord's seventh day. But they got the church doors open on that day, having you pay tithes and offerings when they'll tell you that the laws is done away with, but then they got you paying tithes. So, you know that? Oh, okay. So you know what the, you know where the Sabbath day is? So we're going to give you what the Bible says when the Sabbath day is. Because we're not going to lean to our own understanding. We're going to go with what the Bible says. So, read with me. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Because when we was in slavery, the only time that the white man gave us time to worship God was on Sunday. So, he dragged us out throughout the whole week. But then on Sunday, he let us go and worship God. No, we're going to read to you when the Sabbath day is. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day. But when? The seventh day. But when? The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So that don't say any day. That say the seventh day. That's right. But <laughs> again, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It's not... Any day could be the Sabbath because the Bible specifically says when. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So according to your calendar, when you look on your calendar, today will be the Sabbath day. That's right. Because if you look on your calendar, the first day of the week is Sunday. And then five days from there is Saturday. So that's what today is. Today would be the Lord's Sabbath day. No, you said the Sabbath could be any day. But you but you also said the Sabbath could be any day. And that's not what the Bible says. You got to just stick to what the Bible says. And the Sabbath day would be on Saturday. That's From right. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Yeah. It's okay, sis. Just keep the commandments. Just keep the commandments. So, uh, you was on 20... And, uh, Baruch, yeah, finish that up. Because, again, our people are disobedient. They don't want to listen to God. They want to do their own thing. They ain't never got time for God. But then when they get hurt or they get end up in the hospital, the first thing they say is, oh, God, Jesus, help me. They want to pray. But most I ain't hearing your prayers. So, hey, that's what the Bible say. Don't, don't get mad at me. I'm just reading the Bible. Finish that up. The book of Baruch, chapter 1 and verse 20. Wherefore, 
the evils cleaved unto us, and the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses his servant at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt. So again, soon as we, when we came from out of Egypt, out of that slavery, again, he, uh, Moses was telling us, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, he gonna curse us. And if we see today in 2020 that we are a cursed people, just like we read in Baruch 3 and 8, we are yet this day in 2020, August 2020, we are yet this day in our captivity. Bring it up. Sister, sister, you know your nationality? Sister, keep going. To give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it is to see this day. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto his voice. So again, that, like we read in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, if you will not hearken, we we gonna keep hearing this. If you don't listen, if you don't listen, we, we just read we are a disobedient people. So you're gonna hear a lot of these scriptures saying the same thing because the Most High God know his children. We disobedient, we don't listen, and we wanna do our own thing. So read that again. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our God, according unto all the words of the prophets, whom he sent unto us. So the most high God seeing prophets out here. He don't just he don't just wipe off the whole earth or he don't just, you know, uh send destruction on the earth without giving his people a warning first. That's he right. gonna he gonna give you that warning. But if you don't hearken, like we just read. The root word and hearken is here. If you don't hear or listen, use your ears what God bless you with, then that destruction is going to hit you. But give me uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. The most high God sends his prophets out here. We not just out, like the soldier was saying, like we didn't just choose one day to go all get teal shirts and go get Bibles and be like, we finna go out there and read the Bible. And don't even really have an understanding of what we reading. So when somebody come ask us a question, we're going to be like, well, I don't know. You got to read it for yourself. Like, that's not what we do. We learn men. We study. We apply the scriptures. That's what's most important. You can see the difference between us and everybody else that you see walking around doing whatever they want to do. When we read the Bible and we say the laws and the things that we read, y'all see that in us. So you got to you gotta know that it's the difference between us and everybody else. That's right. So, read what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17. Bring it up. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. He have made us what? A watchman uh -huh. unto the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. So, the Most High God wants y'all to hear the word of his mouth by his prophets. He sent us out here because we are the watchmen for his children. That's and right. we are the ones that's out here bringing that warning to y'all. And give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning. Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Hey, bro, come here. I'm going to ask you a question. What, you know your nationality? What is it? You don't know? African American. Have you ever read the Bible before? You never you never read the, uh, read the Bible? Well, I'm going to just let you know that if you ever was to read the Bible, you would never see the word African American in the Bible. That's right. So who told you it was African American? Huh? Nobody? You said who? Nobody. Nobody? So you just, so you just guess? Huh? No guessing. So, do you want to know who you are according to the Bible? Or you don't care? What's my nationality? I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Simeon. That's right! Because, you know, God don't deal with African Americans. You know who God deal with? You want to know? God deal with the Israelites. That's, That's right. Only. You know who heaven is for? Because heaven ain't for African Americans. Heaven is for the Israelites. That's right. 
Give me the gates. Uh, Revelation 21. So, again, we just out here trying to tell our people the truth. So the Most High God brought you right here so you can know the truth. You know that? Man's horns are of the Lord. So the Most High God got you right here for that reason and this reason. Okay. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring it, up. it had a wall, great and high. It had 12 gates. So this is the kingdom of God right here. This is somewhere where you should hope one day that you want to go to. And at the gates, 12 angels and names written thereon. Hey, bro. Bro, brother. This this what heaven, this who heaven is for right here. This is good. And the names written thereon. So heaven got names on it. So we gonna list, we gonna read to you what them name who them names are on them gates. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Are uh, African American? The children of Israel. It's regular old black people. The children of Israel. So that's who heaven is for. But you know, you know how to get there? Bro, do you want to get to heaven? You want, you gonna get there? How you, you know that for sure? So let, let me give you let me give you what the Bible says about you going to heaven. Yeah. Cause you gotta be doing something in order to get to heaven. So this is if you're doing this right here, read that. Uh 19. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it up. Bro, bro. Good. Y'all come over here. Y'all got something to do today? You know what today is? Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. There's no buying, no selling, no cooking, no cleaning. Man, y'all better repent, man. Keep the commandments. You ain't going to get to heaven just saying you're going to get there. You a prince on the earth, man. Princes don't wear their clothes like that. You got to put a belt on. I mean, we just real men out here telling our brothers to be real men also. That's it. Huh? I can't hear you. But we just want our people to keep the commandments, bro. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We we royalty. This is what royalty look like. That's the blacks, right. Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the real royalty on this earth. When you hear Queen Elizabeth or Prince Charles or anything like that, no, we didn't say anything about faith. What? What you mean? We just said we just said that you was a prince. We just said you was a prince on the earth. That's all. Bro, we just telling you to close your pants. That's all. That's all we doing. We just trying to tell our people to keep the commandments. The Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are real royalty out here. So, hey, the truth hurts. That's what we telling our people. We got to be real men out here. Hey, if it offend you, hey, that's what the Bible. That's the Bible. All we doing is reading the Bible. We royalty out here. We don't act like it. We not niggas. We not uh, African Americans. We not blacks. We the children of God. That's and right. we got to act like that. God ain't never tell us to just do whatever or act how whatever. He gave us specific laws and commandments to follow. And obviously, when we look around and see how our communities is, we don't do that. You are, you are depend so much on the church. The church ain't telling you how important it is for you to keep God's commandments. The church just wants your money, and you can go on about your business. He going to tell you a nice little feel-good, smooth little whatever, and you can go on about your business. You can come as you are, and you're going to most definitely leave as you are. You're going to go this whole time not knowing how important you is to God, but then when you see Christ's face, you're going to be wondering why you're looking at him and why he's sending you back to where you just came from to be burning for the rest of your life. And we just trying to give our people warning from that. Give me uh, Ezekiel. Yeah. Ezekiel 3 and 17. So we, we are the watchmen out here. We out here giving our people warning. And 
hey, either you gonna hearken to the warning or you not. Simple as that. Read what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, here's a word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. So all we out here trying to do is save our people's lives. We out here trying to give our people warning that the Most High God is about to send destruction to America. And the only way that you can get out of that destruction is if you keep the laws of God. And it ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. If you feel that you good, hey, see where that gets you. Because when America be destroyed, you're going to be wondering why people going to be vanishing from standing by you. Because them going to be the, the righteous people. The ones that was out there actually keeping the commandments, those people going to be gone. But then you, yourself, that's not keeping the commandments and you thinking that you're good, you're going to die right here in America. Finish that. To warn him from his wicked way, to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. So everybody that's hearing this, y'all, if even if y'all don't repent and keep the commandments and actually try to get a chance at the kingdom, we did our job as giving y'all warning. We yes, telling y'all that y'all got to keep the commandments. We telling y'all that America is gonna be destroyed. We telling y'all that y'all must repent. Y'all must come out of y'all evil and wicked ways. Don't. Uh, continue to go to the churches. Sisters, dress modest. Brothers, wear the fringes. Sisters also wear the fringes. Keep the Sabbath day holy. No buying, no selling, no cooking. We we are out here warning our people that of those things. But again, it's up to y'all to hearken and come out of those wicked ways. So again, we out here, we doing our job as far as being the watchman for God and warning our people trying to save their life. Continue. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So, again, when, once we give y'all that warning, and, you know, y'all don't want to turn from y'all wicked ways, we, deli we delivered ourselves. So, our, our, y'all blood is not going to be on our hands. So... Again, y'all can either hearken to the warning or y'all can just keep going about y'all business and, you know, think that y'all good. But, again, y'all going to get caught up in that destruction of America and it ain't going to be our fault. It's yes, going to be your own fault. Bring it up. Continue. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he hath, then shall be remembered. So, so, again, we just telling our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to come out of the ways of America. America knows that we, they have the children of Israel in captivity. The, the so-called white men, uh, the Americans, they know what they are doing to the children of God. But we don't know. We don't even consider that we are the children of God. We so concerned about, we, you know, when we tell them that they are God's chosen people, they the greatest people on the planet, they so concerned about, well, what about the white man? What about this person? What about this person? Just be concerned about yourself because God calls you the greatest people on the planet, and that's what you should be concerned about. So keep the commandments and get to the kingdom of heaven because, again, America is not our uh, final resting place. This this place is going to be wiped out, refreshed, because it's so much wickedness going on. You know, the Most High God got to refresh this place because it's just sin everywhere. You Everywhere you turn, it's just sin. Like today, you see numerous people just breaking God's laws. But then you ask them, do you love God? They're going to be quick to say, yeah, because it sounds good. But your actions prove otherwise. So again, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, keep God's commandments and these laws, get this kingdom. That's my time. The next teacher gonna come and edify the people.